Welcome back into Twin Cities Live. And you guys, can you feel it? Can you feel it? The yes. sun is shining mm -hmm. and spring is in the air. It's a perfect time to get outdoors for some family fun. So today we are headed to a picturesque community. It's Northfield. Oh, I love Northfield. And reporter Kristen Hobrick is live. She's at Windy Willow Farm Adventure. And Look at she that. has a Look at that. friend. Oh my gosh, we're dying. You guys, I am literally experiencing a cuteness overload. <laughs> this is an itty bitty baby bunny. Do you hear the goats? Old. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear, you can hear all the goats yes. bleeding and the like little chicks that you're gonna meet. They're like chirping away. So it's very entertaining here. We've moved inside the property, and this farm has been in the Almond family for uh, since the 1950s. And I just love their mission and what they do to help bridge urban areas with rural areas and their emphasis on education. So we're going to bring in Kayla. She's the daughter. Her mom and dad started this farm and you're holding a kid a little. Could this guy be any more content? Not at all. He is snuggled in and checked. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cute. This one was actually a sibling with the one that we met earlier. Okay. And yep. look at these tiny hooves. Like, hi Just little buddy. itty bitty. So how many goats do you have right now for the spring babies? Currently in here, we have 16 baby goats in the farm. We actually had one born about an hour ago. Oh, and we it's have around 10, the clock. Yeah, and we have 10 mamas. Oh my gosh, and so they got their own little playpen over there. Their own little playpen, and they're loving it. And it's so funny seeing them, like, they're kind of like hopping around. Like, they're very curious creatures. Right, they're at that age where they're really getting sure-footed and jumping around. We call this the jumpy age. And they know they're on camera, so they're kind of like playing it cool for us, I think. Very they're just so. <laughs> taking shelter. <laughs> There's a little one. And the kind of bunny I'm holding versus the other ones that you have. Tell yep. me about the difference. Yep. So the kind of bunny that you're holding is a New Zealand rabbit. We raise two breeds on the farm. These ones are New Zealands with the pointy ears is the easiest way to tell them apart. And then we also have uh, mini lock rabbits as well. Yes, and so I had like a, a floppy ear bunny growing up, and they're just like so gentle, so fun. And then we're talking about, um, okay, so over here we got lambs. We hear <laughs> this guy's quite vocal. <laughs> yeah, he's saying hello for you guys. <laughs> Tell us a little fun fact about lambs. So one fun fact about lambs, well, just to start off, these guys are about a week old. And one cool thing about sheep is... And there's your dad holding one. Yep, yep, they have <laughs> rectangle pupils. And so their eyes are actually stationary in their head. And they have to move their head to see. And these guys have about a 320 degree field of vision. Oh my goodness. And as we keep moving on down, I love how the animals are all so close together. So it looks like we've got little ducklings and little chicks. Yep. And they're kind of just all hanging out together. But when I look at the ducklings, they don't have their feathers quite yet. When does that typically happen? They will start to get their feathers at about a month of age. And these guys are about two weeks old. And the chicks are also two weeks old, but they have started feathering already. Okay. And so when families come out here, they're able to just sit down with the animals. They can even get in that little goat pen. A hundred percent. We strive on being a hands-on experience. So these guys are even able to hold the Hold the ducklings and chicks, you know, just keep them under that light and they can get right in the pen with the goats and the lambs. And, and then they've got access to all of the fun activities outside as well. Exactly. Okay, yep. Kayla, thank you so much yeah. for now. Ben and Elizabeth, did you notice how clean it is in here? This is yes. not your typical barn setting. It smells very nice <laughs> and you're just surrounded by so many cute little creatures. It's good for the soul. That is unlike any barn I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, I have not seen It is like absolutely that. beautiful. Yeah, That's so cool. Lots of space and, um, and kids can really get involved. Fun, Kristen. Oh, there she goes. Thank, Thank you. you, Kristen. <laughs> All right, we'll check in with Kristen in just a little bit. That little bunny hopped up right on cue for Drew's camera. I know, it's like it's he was wonderful. trained to do that. Mm -hmm. So cute.